Hello and welcome to the, uh, is it the 7th, it is, it is the 7th um, of December, so it's the 7th cat, uh, no I'm not drinking a cat, uh, 7th uh, on 24 uh, Epicurean beers from Didsby, not the beers, the, uh, the uh, distributor is from, uh, it's not a distributor, it's a shop, but well, you know what I mean, um, <laughs> good promotion there, um, so this is number 7, it, it was actually first, supposed to be number 1, but uh, I got the order mixed up because I, I got a 7 and a 1 mixed up, it's kind of, a 7 is kind of, that's the wrong way, kind of, it just had a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a, it wasn't enough to be a clear seven. And I always think a seven should be um, a diagonal. And <laughs> <laughs> forget it. Anyway, today's, uh, <laughs> today's beer is uh, from Shindigo, a local Manchester brewery. Not the best of the uh, of the Manchester uh, breweries to, to choose from. The beers have always been pretty low end. Uh, shall we say it's so three pound thirty? It's a um, session IPA. You could just call it a pale ale. One of one of one of the two. So it's a low uh, it's a low ABV, low percentage pale ale with added mango and pineapple, which you'd never guess from the um, from the can. So it's definitely a uh, form of fruit. <sighs> what am I hoping for? Something light and refreshing, and with. I'm hoping that the added fruit isn't too sickly sweet. It's just gonna add a little bit of um, uh, a bit of acidity as much as anything else, and uh, just it, it, it's kind of another way of bringing out kind of tropical hot flavour, mango, pineapple. I suspect it will just taste of um, fruit juice, but there's worse things than fruit juice. It just smells like a normal. Um, it does actually smell like a um, a uh, pale ale with added pineapple juice which I guess um, so is it going to be cloudy is it going to be light it's going to be light it's good so it looks like a pale it smells like a pale with added fruit and it kind of yeah it really does just smell of uh, the, the pineapple you know rather than getting nice tropical hop uh, aroma I'm just getting pineapple Again, not really the mango so much, the pineapple is dominating. Um, yeah. Well, the first thing to say is the, um, the fruit is adding to the flavour rather, rather than uh, taking away from the flavour, which it's half a compliment and half a, half a criticism really because there's not a lot to the, the body of the beer, it's very, very thin and uh, not not particularly uh, interesting with not hardly any bitterness to it which you don't necessarily get in a, on a pale ale or light IPA as they've described it but the fruit is adding an extra complexity and you are getting a bit more mango when I'm, when I'm tasting it. The aroma is predominantly um, pineapple. I mean, it is bang average but it's alright. It's kind of, I kind of wonder whether I give it three and a half out of five or three point two five and probably three point two five. It just there really is no I'm almost gonna it's almost tastes lagery with with a bit of added fruit. That's not that's not quite true, but the base of beer is very uninteresting. So I would say sort of three point two five out of five, it's perfect pleasant. We love the summer quaffer rather than the minus four degrees or whatever it is today. Quaffer, but it's perfectly serviceable. But I wouldn't really recommend it. Much, much to say on that really it's um i'll finish it and um move, move on and look forward to tomorrow's Ta